good afternoon and happy fall. Just a forewarning, sorry if I sound a little sick. I've been sick this week, but I'm feeling much better now. I just still sound like I'm sick. <laughs> so happy fall. It's really nice for us here in California. We had a few days in summer that were 100 degree weather and we also had a lot of smoke where I live. We weren't close enough to the fires, thankfully. So yeah, the smoke has been getting better here. It's been nice because now when we go outside, it's not hard to breathe. I hear that the fires are getting better. I do hope we get more rain soon and that they're eventually put out, which I'm sure they will be, but I hope, I hope for it soon. I especially love everything fall themed. Pumpkins, candles, pumpkin spice lattes, Hobby Lobby and Target do a good job with like putting out their fall themed stuff and Starbucks too. Every time I walk past Starbucks there's that sign for their drinks and every time I see the pumpkin spice latte and that um, caramel apple drink and they look so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see how that one tastes. I'm kind of kind of interested in trying it sometime. That's actually the inspiration behind this drawing is everything fall themed. That's why there are pumpkins on her umbrella. For this drawing, I started it off with a sketch on paper and then I did a digital like draft sketch coloring thing. And then I decided I wasn't happy with it. So I cleaned it up a little bit, and that became my reference throughout the whole drawing. So I switched over to traditional and I did the sketch and then the line art. Now the interesting thing about the line art is it's been about four months since I've been able to film a drawing and I have not done much line art at all and none on camera so my hands were just shaking the entire time. Um, I very nearly ruined the umbrella but thankfully I was able to fix it so it was just one happy accident. I ended up actually liking the line art even though it's not perfect. After the line art, I did, I colored the girl and the moon and the light bulb and pumpkins in color pencil.
Oh, also, be sure to follow my Instagram. It's at yukiko underscore no underscore art. I post pictures of my art there and um, works in progress on my story and just fun little polls and stuff, so be sure to follow me on there. Then for the background, I did pastels. The interesting fact about pastels is you can do a background in pastels and then have something else in colored pencil. And if you get pastels on the colored pencil work you've done, you can just take a Q-tip and wipe it off, which is really fun because pastels are a lot faster than colored pencils. So I did that. That was fun. It's always fun to just smudge things with your finger. It makes you feel like you're a little kid again. <laughs> I did the raindrops in pastel pencil and um, white gel pen. And then I sprayed the drawing and it was all done. <laughs>